The Target 12 investigators are learning new details about a hit and run controversy swirling around the head of the state's public transit agency. Scott Avedesian was arraigned this morning on a misdemeanor charge accused of taking off after slamming into the back of another car at a McDonald's drive through Target 12 investigator Tim White spoke with one of the victims in that hit and run and is here now with the latest. Tim. Mike and Kim Scott Avedesian pleaded not guilty in a lightning fast arraignment at Kent County District Court this morning. Police say a camera at the McDonald's drive through clearly identifies him as the driver in this hit and run. I had my baby in the car with me. She's mm. three months. So she was in the back just screaming and crying. Ariana Andrade was waiting for her food at a McDonald's drive through in Warwick shortly after 6 p.m. last Wednesday when her car was rear-ended. Police say it was a chain reaction. The vehicle behind her had been struck by a black SUV registered to the Rhode Island Public Transit Authority and driven by the agency CEO, Scott Avedesian. And when he got out the car, he did seem a little intoxicated, like he was slurring his words. He was kind of like tipping over and we were asking him like are you okay like are you fine because he didn't seem like he was in his right mind. On Wednesday, Avedesian pleaded not guilty to one misdemeanor count of leaving the scene of an accident. The former longtime mayor of Warwick had nothing to say going into the courthouse. Can you tell us where you were before that incident? Avedesian was then fingerprinted and his picture was taken at Warwick PD. His attorney is former Rhode Island House Speaker John Harwood. What did he tell you happened that night? Oh, he didn't. Well, that's attorney client privilege, so I can't say too much, but I can tell you that uh, we want to look at all the evidence. Uh, we feel comfortable with opposition. A police report shows officers knocked on Avedesian's door multiple times the night of the accident, but no one answered. They added it should be noted that the engine block of the vehicle was still warm. Andrade argues Avedesian needs to be held accountable. He didn't ask me if we were okay. He didn't ask if the baby was all right. We were all like checking with each other. We was like, are you good? Are you okay? He didn't really say anything to us. He just was standing there. He, I, to be honest, I don't even think he could understand what was going on. He was just out of it. Avedesian's next scheduled court date is in three weeks. Coming up, new at six, we talked to Governor Dan McKee about Avedesian's future at RIPTA. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, 12 News. Now at 6, the Target 12 investigators have the latest on a hit and run that has the head of the state's public transit agency in legal trouble. Scott Avedesian pleaded not guilty this morning to a misdemeanor criminal charge that he took off after causing a chain reaction car crash at a McDonald's drive through New at 6, Target 12 investigator Tim White has reaction from Governor Dan McKee and one of the victims in that hit and run. Tim? Mike, Ariana Andre tells me she did not know who was the man behind the wheel that caused the multi-car crash at a McDonald's drive through but police say it was the CEO of RIPTA driving an agency vehicle. Out of nowhere, like a car just slammed into the back of us. Ariana Andrade was rear-ended in the drive through of this Warwick McDonald's just after 6 p.m. last Wednesday. Her infant daughter was in the car. She's hmm. three months. So she was in the back just screaming and crying. Police say RIPTA CEO Scott Avedesian was the driver of the black SUV that caused the chain reaction crash. Andrade says Avedesian initially pulled over and got out of the car. He did seem a little intoxicated, like he was slurring his words. He was kind of like tipping over. She and the other driver told police Avedesian then got back behind the wheel and drove away. What was your reaction when you saw him zoom away? I was like, he did not just do this, especially because I had my baby in the car. I'm like, you know, I thought he would at least say, you know, I'm sorry, like at least check on us. And he just clearly didn't care. Can you tell us where you were before that incident? The former longtime Warwick mayor pleaded not guilty Wednesday to a misdemeanor count of leaving the scene of an accident with damage. Not guilty. Not guilty plea. His attorney is former Rhode Island House Speaker John Harwood. I can't say too much, but I can tell you that uh, we want to look at all the evidence. Uh, we feel comfortable with opposition. 12 News asked Governor Dan McKee about the case against Avedesian. I think there will certainly be um, more coming, and uh, at that point in time, uh, we have to make some determinations on, on, on it's a serious issue, obviously, if, the, if, if there's a court case going on. Avedesian has led RIPTA since 2018 when he was appointed by then Governor Gina Raimondo. I reached out to the Attorney General's office to see if they are reviewing the evidence from this case, but did not immediately hear back. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, 12 News.